but wait a minute. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about stickers, how to apply them using shrink wrap, how to make your textures transparent in Redshift, and it's gonna be very streamlined tutorial. I saw the tutorial by the person that uh, goes by name, I go by Zach, so I post the link in the description too if you wanna learn more about it. But this is a streamlined version of how to apply stickers. I have these two stickers, so we're gonna apply sure, those. Let's do this. So as you can see here, I have a plane and then onto that plane, I created the redshift material and I also put their uh, object tag, so redshift object tag. And there's a shrink wrap as a child. Um, so, and into that shrink wrap, we basically putting that cylinder. Let's put another sticker and let's create a new plane. So we have a plane, I'm just gonna rotate it. 90 probably make it smaller yeah. yeah something like that and we can make it maybe 30 by 30 just so uh, it's nicely wrapping around our object and the next thing would be just to create redshift object tag the reason I do that that I can go to visibility I can override and I can remove any shadow, which was recommended in one of the comments on the video from the guy that I go by Zach. So cast shadows, self shadows, because if you if you can see on the sticker, there's no shadow, so it it's actually looks like sticker. Okay. And D. So there's no shadows casting like the the plane is not casting any shadows. Uh, the next thing we need to create is a uh, redshift material. So we go to redshift, material, materials, and material, and edit shade graph. Right. So now, beautiful sticker there. And I'm just going to place it straight in, drop it in here. Or you can go just by adding a texture and then find it through the path right so I have it here and now it's the important part uh, how to make it transparent because see if I plug the texture uh, there into diffuse color then I have a material made of this ice cream kind of um, and I can apply this material to our plane and you see it's not transparent so the fix to that is actually quite easy and the first time I saw that it was in that video so big critic to I go by Zach I thought you always have to use um, kind of material blender for it but you don't what you do is to get the color splitter you plug the texture in there and you say the alpha of that texture so anything that is transparent will go into that material and go into overall opacity color and now you can see it's completely transparent only thing that that's left uh, is to maybe name this ice cream sticker melon sticker <laughs> um, so now we shrink wrap this so I'm just gonna I'm go to effect is and shrink wrap apply it to our ice cream and then tell it to shrink wrap that the tar target object is gonna be our cylinder right and now you, you see it's you go directly to that the problem is uh, it's, it's just gonna disappear so you can push it a little bit out or what I did what I did you know you can have it hundred percent you can go and actually apply cloth surface and uh, you can make it thicker here and maybe the thickness should be more and then I can have it 100% okay so I just probably have it like I would probably recommend have it like 98% if you have in your geometry uh, displacement activated then it's gonna it's gonna create another set of issues so you're always gonna have to kind of counteract that with uh, shrink wrap being for example 95 like in this case 
uh, which I don't think it's necessary to how far we can push it. Okay, no, it's fine. Hundred. So it's it's that close cloud surface to start. Uh, it's just you're just gonna have to kind of find the values that are okay. And now I can make a. You see, I can make a different different shape, and the stickers are still perfectly there. I can I can kind of move them around because they are just kind of planes. So I can easily just drag them. I mean, within reason, they're just gonna nicely stick. Yep. So that's it. That's the tutorial, and we went to the material and we made the texture transparent by using the color splitter and then we plug that onto our plane using shrink wrap in a shrink wrap we selected the object we want to wrap it around and then use cloth surface to increase the thickness of the sticker just so it's not disappearing in our surface okay thanks for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed it and see you in next one